Hey YouTube, I just finished that dueling tree yesterday and I just could not wait to try it out. So I know that it's weather's crappy right now, but I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and try this out. I'm going to start off with the 22 plates. I got a Ruger 22. Let's see if this thing will knock them over. Whoa, what am I doing? There we go. And I did horrible. Let's keep trying. Well, not too bad. Every once in a while one doesn't want to flip. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> hey. That don't make no sense. One goes so hard that it flips it completely back and forth. And another one don't get enough ump to let it go. Now we'll go ahead and change them out and put in the center fire plates to try them out. All right, let's just change this over. Try not to slide. Man, those white plates aren't very easy to see. I'm going to start off with a 45 caliber. We'll see how well this thing knocks them over. Guess I only put six in that one. Well, that worked pretty good. Definitely shooting better with this one. These are a little bit bigger plates, too. I think that third one downs hung up on the 22 long rifle plates too. Maybe I need to deburr something in there. Whoa. That was bad.
There, finally got a magazine with all of them shot hit. All right, 45 will flip them. Now I'm going to shoot a 9 millimeter. Uh, these are 115 grain bullets. The uh, 45 was 230 grain bullets, and this is through my MMP Pro Series. It's got a five-inch barrel. Well, did pretty good with the nine millimeter. Man, works pretty good. I think dueling trees just inherently don't flip, but it's working pretty decent. I didn't put any lubrication on it or anything. It's just the way it is. And that's it. Looks like it works pretty good. Thanks for watching.